It's a battle between decentralized social media and centralized social media. Who will win in the end is yet to be seen. In this video, we're gonna see how decentralized social media is emerging with blockchain technology. Keep watching. Recently, we've seen the power of blockchain technology in terms of finance. We've seen how decentralized finance can change the world. Actually, we've seen how banks are struggling to compete with decentralized finance. We've also seen government trying to introduce central banks' digital currency just so they can compete with decentralized finance, which is a new thing now, in case you don't know. In this video, we're gonna be seeing how centralized social media is gradually changing to decentralized social media. In the past, we only knew centralized ones, but with blockchain, again, we're seeing decentralized social media. In this video, we're going to look at applications on the internet computer and their purpose is to decentralize social media. Each one has a specific goal. So we're going to start right away with the first one. What is District? District is a decentralized professional social media network that empowers users to own control their identity and digital presence. The district platform lives 100% on the blockchain. Is district decentralized? Not yet. We will consider district truly decentralized the moment it has incorporated the tools that empower people to participate in the governance of the platform in an open, decentralized, and permissionless manner. Will there be ads? Advertising is not one of the mechanisms that will be considered by the Internet Open Internet Foundation moving forward, but once governance tools are implemented, users can decide for themselves. Will there be a district token? District will have its own native token called DKT. District will also implement an in-app reward system based on points. Points will be awarded to users for valuable contributions to the platform. Users will be able to redeem points for DKT. What is the use case for the district token? The DKT will be a utility token that grants governance rights on the district platform and aligns incentives for all participants in the district ecosystem. Will there be a token sale? Yes, but unlike most other crypto projects, there will be no private sale of the DKT tokens. The Open Internet Foundation will conduct a public fundraising event that will allow equal opportunity to all participants. The fundraising will take place in early 2022. And so what we see here is a very decentralized platform in the making. Even though it's not completely decentralized right now, we can see the plans that it will be fully decentralized eventually when the governance tools are available, which are what? Tokens and how the users are going to use the tokens to make decisions on the platform. Let's look at the app a little bit. Go to home. And one thing I notice is it, load, it takes a little bit of time to load, just a little bit of time. And then you can add, you can follow or unfollow people and others can follow you as well. So here I have 47 following and 32 followers. It's pretty cool and you can post whatever you like. Uh, So 
so you can post whatever you like and uh, and then it's gonna be available to all your followers and other people will be able to see what you've posted and like and comment and share so it's a uh, pretty much like pretty much like Twitter so what we see here is a Twitter competitor in the end we'll find out who's gonna make it whoever wins will depend on the users right I will see if people adopt uh, this decentralized application and decentralized social media that will be up to the use cases and how valuable people think it is out there for me I'm already on it and kind of enjoying it uh, let's see how it goes especially when they have the token sale and then have full decentralization working right here that's it on this trick let's move over to the next one which is discover DSCVR Discover is another platform on the internet computer that is much more like uh, Reddit. At Discover, which is currently in beta, our mission is to create decentralized social content aggregation platform where users not only control the content but also pl the platform itself. Think Reddit. If Reddit's development was run by its most dedicated community members so we're just gonna leave it at that and the key thing here is we have a platform that is uh, a social aggregation or content aggregation platform where users have control of their content and you can also make decisions based on how well you do in this platform and how committed you are this platform which is something we haven't had you know everything uh, so far is very decentralized and there's no way for for the users to have a say in what is going on or make decisions about the platform or about their data but right here we will have that opportunity to make decisions ourselves once we start using the platform it's still in better it's not complete yet so uh, there's still a lot going on like there's gonna be a token and there's gonna be governance and uh, and and right now we even have an option to to add our wallet and, and interestingly recently I, I received uh, some airdrops in my on my uh, profile which I didn't know about you know and these are NFTs uh, like this one Okoto NFT Starburst IC Drip in an astronaut I, I noticed this on my profile and I was a little surprised but kind of nice right and you can actually transfer this to your wallet Stoic wallet can transfer the NFTs to Stoic wallet, which we we talked about a while back, like a very good and already popular wallet on the internet computer, and that's kind of really cool. And and on on Discover you have you know like so many portals like. Uh, you can create your own portal where people come to post uh, information based on the, the purpose of that portal it's pretty much like reddit but maybe better we'll find out and see if this works out eventually for the good of the people next let's look at D social D social is uh, comparatively to YouTube so um, finally here is an app 
or here is a platform where we can share our videos in a decentralized manner without, without worrying about who will decide what about our videos and and if our videos are going to be taken down or if our account will be blocked or terminated a platform where we make the decisions ourselves and and whatever happens on the platform will have a say that is the purpose of the social which is outlined on their twitter site and, and users or content creators can can upload content on different topics and then have others subscribe to their channels and have views and and everything else so eventually um the content creators would decide about ads to and and if and ad revenue and and all of that and and there's gonna be a token as well and finally just like telegram open chat allows its users to chat create groups join groups and uh, they can do this using their internet identity we should remember that with uh icp's internet identity you can use every other app on the internet uh, computer using the same ID. So right here on OpenChat, we have options to create a group just like everywhere else. We have options to chat and send messages to loved ones. And we should note that this is still in test mode. Um, there are other functionalities that would be added later like you'll be able to send um, tokens to your friends or family and I think a lot more coming up uh, open chat is like just it's just uh, a little bit behind compared with the other apps or social platforms that we just saw but eventually, once everything is ready, I think we're gonna enjoy it more. For now, we can chat and create groups, just like what you see right here. So that's that. So it, it's just amazing how these things are playing out and, and we're not sure how it's gonna end eventually, if big tech would remain big tech or a decentralized social media is going to be a big threat to big tech which isn't quite much right now because big tech is still there strong and standing but we'll see how far that lasts but when it comes to finance we've seen how banks are challenged to create their own digital currencies because um, decentralized finance bitcoin they, they're already taking over so let's see if we have a similar situation with uh, decentralized social media where facebook twitter youtube will be history waiting to find out meanwhile you may want to check out the site see if if they're worth it or not that would be a decision for you to make and also leave a comment in the comment section about what you've found out about the size or the decentralized size that we just talked of. Thank you for watching and hope that you learned something and hope that you have the chance to check out the site and tell us what you think. See you again in my next slice. Bye bye.